everyone, Tuesday the 19th of August and this is what it's all about. These two need no introduction, we've all met them before. Jack and Lotte, we've just been down to the um, to the allotment to get some sweet corn. What do you think Lotte? Uh, nice. Nice? Babies are nice, that's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jack, nice. Gorgeous. Yeah, you know it kid, you know it, look at that. That's what it's all about. Right guys, a little quick one at home. A thank you to uh, Auntie Anne-Marie for buying us these um, little holder things at the ends. I'm not too sure what they're called. Interlocking corn holders. Uh, now we've never been able to get more than two um, sweet corn ears from the allotment, but me and Vicky uh, have got a bit of a treat today. Vicky's at work, so when she gets home, um, I am going to do me and Vicky too as well. A couple of chilies, a couple of potatoes for later for the kids. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows about the, this basil. Is what I get from the supermarket and I split it in half. I don't know if I've filmed this before. And I literally just put it in pots on windowsill. And that's a bunch of flowers that I grew. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of flowers that I grew for Vicky, clearly. <laughs> um, right, guys, let me just show you what's happening with the spring... Uh, with the shallots, I um, still got a few left. I've still left the um, the I've still left the um, big onions up at the allotment. So I'm going to use them for a bit longer. You know, I might not get any pickled in onions out of them, but as long as I can keep using them, you know, and then mildewed onions are going to last a bit longer. That's my science in it all, anyway. Um, there's my eggs. Look at my eggs off me girls. I must admit, three ends, three eggs a day. You've got to like eggs. Okay guys, I'll quickly show you around in the garden. We've been up the um, up the allotment this morning, but there's not much going on, apart from everything being bloody blown over. Um, planted a load of new rocket in. Um, so that's coming up now, so we've started using that. Um, all the herbs are doing fine. The three lots of lettuces that are planted um, none of the um, cost letters came up. The Lola Rosso's okay, but the unrivaled are flying up. And look at all these Celtus, I think they're called. Um, Halvo was telling me over at uh, Garden in Norway. So there's actually stacks of them in between it. Um, I started getting quite a few blackberries on. Obviously, not as many as what they are when we go picking them wild. Will these be here next year? I'm not too sure if they will. But we'll see, we'll see. I've also got um, stacks of strawberries on again. Flushes of absolutely loads of strawbs. Look at all these. I can't believe it, this is the second second law. You know, and I never, like I said before, I never really got a look at the size of that. This is like middle of bloody August. Coming towards the end, really. 19th. You know, I've got, got strawbs everywhere. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Um, Chikare, doing great now. Which you, you should be expected for this time of year, because this is when it starts putting all its size on. It'll start putting some big parsnip type roots down. And you know what, oh, I've got no moles in my garden, thank Christ. Uh, so, uh, the parsley started coming up. I'm not going to get much more off that, I don't think, because it'll stop growing now. Curly and flat leaf. We'll learn from that mistake for next year. Loads of spring onions, we've been picking a few of them. But yeah, strawberries everywhere. Right then. Tomatoes, let me try and show you. A little view from outside, it gets a bit dodgy with that glass on when I do it. Okay, right. Now then, as you can remember, look, look at this one. Self seeded. <laughs> I've got a tomato plant growing outside. I must have threw a tomato out. So I'm going to leave that to just see what happens, just for a bit of fun. Uh, it must have gone into the in-between the weed membrane. Okie dokie. Right, as you can imagine now, um, things are slowing down a little bit. The weather in the UK has not been great of late. But it, it, I'm still doing okay with them. I've got loads of them to go green. But they're just not flying along as, the, um, as they were a month or two ago. But I just wanted to show you. So you can see the, the progress 
I'm still spraying twice weekly with uh, once every fortnight with Epsom salts, once every fortnight with um, aspirin. So yeah, so you can see we've got loads of green on. Whether these lot ripen up at the top, I don't know. I've still got these massive super trusses on of Gardener's Delight. You know, and we're picking them and eating them daily, and we've still got some at the bottom, so you can imagine how many I had on. Um, Alicante, I've done great this year, did nothing last year, Alicante. Um, I don't know if you remember when that snapped off, I was side shooting, and a piece of that, well, the, the growing stem snapped off, there it is. There you go, that's where it snapped originally so I grew a side shoot off it and to be honest with you it's done now it's absolutely nothing there's a couple on there and a couple there so I don't know what what to think of re regrowing them that way um, let's see if I can get in here I'm on the outside here so you might not hear my voice beef steaks doing well I've got beef steaks all the way up to the top albeit only a little few little ones at the top but they start putting size on. You know, I had these till uh, October last year before I finally pulled them all out. Um, obviously, we've got a few, and I mean a few, um, flowers on ready to set, but I'm, I'm not expecting much of them. But yeah, doing good. Feeding wise, I'm feeding twice weekly now with the um, Diverse Soluble Plant Food. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how things are looking in here. Um, and I obviously wanted to show you my kids eating the sweet corn. Okay guys. I'll leave you with that beautiful shot of my tomatoes. Speak to you all soon.